have you. Look at this salmon. Yay! Isn't that beautiful? That is fantastic. It just came in a few hours ago. I'm so excited about it. What we're going to do is, uh, uh, this is the belly fat right here. This right here. You don't want that. If you have a cat, the cat likes it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and, and take it right off. So we'll start here. That's a sharp knife. That's nice. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, what you have to remember is, is you don't need, when, when you're working with fish, you don't need to serve a huge portion. You don't want anything bigger than your palm. Your, your body can't digest that much protein at one time. So, and also, you, you also want like, you want to fill, you don't want to like, you, you want to feed, you don't want to fill, because we've also got some amazing dessert too, and some, some starches, and some vegetables to go with it. So don't just fill it, just on the proteins, right? So once you've got your, your fish laid on, just gonna go through, like so. And just as a rule, you can use a three finger rule, something like that. And that's going to give you a beautiful portion, like so, yeah? And that's, like I say, that's just, just you know, judging with your eyes there, just use a three-finger cut, yeah? That's, uh, that's going to be more than plenty for everybody, yeah? So we've lost our belly fat, we've done about a three-finger cut. What we're going to do now, it, because it's salmon, there's a reason it's a royal fish. Was it, I think it was, oh, about 15 years ago, which really isn't long when you think of uh, the River Thames and other. Uh, someone, a man, had caught a salmon in the River Thames, believe it or not, and we couldn't, living in London, and uh, by, by an ancient law, if you if had caught a salmon in the River Thames, it had to be offered to Her Majesty. So he did, and she graciously accepted. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's why it's always considered a royal fish. So what, this doesn't need a lot, right, because we're uh, just going to put a little uh, salt and pepper on there, and just a little bit of oil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a seriously hot grill, okay? Now, please remember, when you're working with a grill and fish, don't push it, don't nudge it, don't check it, don't peek. No, okay? If you've got the grill just as high as it's going to go, and you've got your oil on the grill and on your fish, you're going to put that fish. And as soon as it looks like it's getting the mark, and if you can do that and it does that, if it lifts that easily, then go ahead and take it and rotate it, like so. Don't turn it over, just rotate it, about 45 degrees. What that's do, it's gonna give you a lovely hash mark, like so. It's gonna give you like that, that, uh, that movie quality steak. It's like, how do they do that? You know, when I do it at home, it just looks burnt. Because <laughs> we're, we're, what we're doing is, is, is it's aesthetically, and we want that flavor from it. So we're going to give it that hash mark, and then we're going to take it off of the grill right then. We're going to put it into another pan, and we're going to throw it into a hot oven. So it's going to continue to cook inside that oven. We're not going to rely just keeping it on the grill, right? Because if we do, we're just going to keep charring that beautiful fish, right? So we're going to finish that in the oven, and then we'll finish it with the